Great. It, welcome to the 15th edition of the Zeno Confluence. It's so great to see each one day, uh, one of you. So thank you for making it here, and also apologize for a lot of people who applied to come in person, but uh, uh, because of the COVID restrictions, unfortunately, we have to let them kind of join uh, through the online mechanism. So thank you again for being here, and welcome to the uh, Confluence. As many of you know, we actually conduct multiple global conferences across the globe uh, in six different locations. Um, it has become now industry uh, leading thought leadership forums in India, in US, Europe, as well as in Japan. So it's, uh, this confluence is going to be also the same. It's going to be very unique, very um, new thought leadership that is going to come up. And we are very excited to have you all come and join us now. And this year is a very special year for us because this is the 20th year of Zenau. And we are extremely proud of what we have achieved so far. So if you look at it, you know, we started off as three co-founders and two employees in 2002. Now we have about 400 employees in about eight different global locations. More importantly, we have touched directly about 520 different clients and hundreds of others uh, indirectly, right, through the conferences, through our uh, thought leadership sessions and series. Uh, I think overall we have made something, like I was talking to my team, and we have made more than 50,000 connections through our network. So incredibly proud of what we have done. And more importantly, when we started the first Zeno conference in 2008, we had 60 attendees. Today, we are expecting about 5,000 people join it, about 1,000 of you here, and about 4,000 of them uh, online. So, you know, it's a special conference, as I said, and we are also very proud of the journey that we had and very excited to the future that is ahead of us. And you know, in the last two years, if, uh, two decades or so, you know, if you think about it, we started off the conversations as cost and delivery. Then probably about a decade ago, we started talking a lot about talent and technology. And today, every business, every matured organization across the world thinks of India as a driver of innovation and business, right? But as we pivot to the future, we have to think about inclusive, sustainable growth. So that is one of the key uh, themes of the uh, conference that we are going to have today. And, you know, India has been playing a big role in, uh, you know, the technology narrative for the global uh, business mechanism, right? So uh, we are, uh, you know, it has been an integral part, whether playing an active role or a passive role, India has become a core engine of growth for the businesses. Of, uh, businesses. And, you know, while we are talking about it, I think the theme of the conference, especially this year, is going to be around leadership, about transformation, about innovation. Of course, we are going to talk about excellence and, and inclusiveness throughout the, uh, you know, uh, the conference, but the, the Main theme is going to be around leadership, your transformation that is happening across the world, as well as innovation that is uh, where India is playing a role, right? Uh, talking about that theme, I think the first keynote from Pari, who is the CEO of Zeno, uh, is going to be talk about you know, how the, the great transformation is happening and how the GCOs in India have become the third pillar of the Indian economy uh, nowadays. Uh, Pari's talk will be followed by Vijay Swami, who is the co-founder of Zeno, as well as Drop. He's going to talk about how the India is going to build the become the global talent resilience center for all the organizations. As talent is the most important challenge for all of us, or many of us here, I'm pretty sure this is something that you all want to listen and hear about. That will be followed by uh, Jan Gupta, the president of Akodes, who's going to talk about how to leverage India for creating exponential outcomes for, um, for the world. Um, you know, it's, uh, uh, then we are going to talk, uh, we are going to have a very interesting panel on, um, you know, manufacturing, semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem. Manish Bhatia and Pari Natarajan are going to talk about it. Uh, we, you know, throughout the conference today, it's not about what we are doing or how we are doing. Many of the speakers are going to talk about, you know, share their experiences. They share their best practices. They share their thought leadership or the frameworks on how they are actually making it all possible. 
So we are going to have very interesting, diverse set of discussions today, especially around leading with the innovation with empathy, or things about you know, how do you design and archetypes of the leadership for the future. Um, and we are also going to have a very, you know, very interesting talks around how um, you know, you're going to talk about the people, as well as how you are going to talk about the innovation that is going to happen in the uh, healthcare system. Every year, we start, you know, a few years ago, we started hosting what we call as the Z Talks. I mean, like, these talks are to kind of lit that fire in you, to show you what else can you do, to make you get out of your comfort zone and think the possibilities that, are, uh, that you can make happen, right? So in that series, we are going to have Shalini Saraswati, who is known as the Blade Runner. She is a quad amputee, and she's picked up running after she lost all her limbs, and she, and you know, she is basically, you know, what we think about grit and determination and and and, and inspiration, right? I'm I'm really looking forward to what she has to share with all of us. And we also have a session. This is the session. You know, typically we always have one session in a Confluence where it makes us almost feel like we achieved nothing, right? This is that kind of a session. Right after the lunch, we are going to have a a, a eight-year-old kid. I mean, like, the, he is known to have more IQ than Einstein, believe it or not, right? And the, the kid, at his tender age, he already has three successful mobile applications, so I can't wait what else he is going to share that he's going to do in his, uh, in his life. So very excited about that as well. And uh, you know, as we go forward, we are going to talk about two very distinct type of uh, uh, you know, uh, topics. One around people and planet, the other one about uh, you know, value versus valuation. It's a very interesting topic that is everybody is talking about, so it's going to be a very interesting keynote panel as well. But through that, um, you know, after that, we are going to have a quick closing note from my colleague. But also, after the lunch, we have two parallel sessions, one on transformation, one on innovation. So there are going to be multiple um, uh, workshops, um, uh, so uh, and we definitely recommend you to join them to see the frameworks on how, what kind of uh, you know, uh, best practices that you can leverage to kind of bring in that efficiency in the optimization and innovation for your organization. So uh, with that, um, you know, the one last thing, right? I think we are, just want to highlight about safety and sustainability. Um, the most important thing, I think we are still in the pandemic, even though it is you know, the tail end of it, uh, we have been extremely, extremely cautious uh, that's the reason why we are not able to accommodate a lot of you who have registered today. Again, sincere apologies for that. Um, we, you know, we have, we we want to follow the all the protocols that have been laid by the government, and also we have uh, been very, very, um, you know, we have asked all of you to bring your own uh, water bottles also for the same reason, so that we don't want to uh, take anything for uh, granted. The second thing is about sustainability. As I was talking earlier, sustainable growth is, uh, is very, very critical for us, right? So as, at Confluence, we are trying to do our own bit. So we are um, you know, trying to be close to net zero with everything that we are doing uh, here at the Confluence. So we also have an eco-partner who's making sure uh, you know, that uh, you know, we are a, a sustainably conscious um, uh, you know, event today. So with that, uh, before I close, I want to again give a, a big shout out to all our partner, you know, partners. Without their support, we couldn't have organized anything remotely close like this. So again, once again, thank you very, very much. With that, let me invite the CEO of Zinao, Pari Natarajan, to give his keynote. Pari, the stage is all yours. <laughs>